one thing we can be certain of is certainty itself. That is, we know when we know. I know that 2 plus 2 equals 4. I know that light travels faster than sound. I know that tension currently exists in my right shoulder. I know that nothing can be outside of the universe. But how do we know that we know that we know? Or put differently, how could we be so certain in our certainty? For instance, didn't humanity at one point know that the earth was flat, that flying was impossible, and that cigarettes were safe for the body? How can we be so sure that our modern day beliefs will stand the test of time? How do we know when we are or are not fooling ourselves? Here is the crucial difference. Do you think you know, or do you know? These statements are completely different in dimension and scope. Thinking you know is not knowing, it's thinking. Knowing, on the other hand, exists without thought. It's a state of being free from narrative. Do you see the difference? One way to test whether you are thinking or knowing is to imagine a scenario in which the opposite of what you believe is proven true. For example, let's say you believe the COVID-19 vaccine is safe for humans, or maybe you believe it's unsafe for humans. Either way, what you'll do is you'll imagine that you're proven wrong. So in the case of the former, you visualize a scene in which proof of the vaccine being dangerous is given to you. And in the latter, you'd visualize proof that the vaccine is completely harmless. Got it? Okay, so when you imagine contrary evidence being presented, do you notice a contraction in your energy field? That is, when your belief gets contradicted, do you get uncomfortable? If so, then you didn't know. You just thought you knew. If, however, you are unmoved, if contrary evidence doesn't cause any sort of fluctuation in your emotional experience, you are in your knowing. Another way of saying this is that thoughts come with attachment and knowing comes without. Thinking has identity associated, whereas certainty does not. Being certain causes no pride when evidence supports your belief and brings no shame when evidence opposes it. The difficulty arises, of course, in that it's so easy to fool ourselves through brute stubbornness. We need to be brutally honest with our experience while running this test, otherwise it won't work. Does any part of me shrivel up or lash out when I'm being impugned? Does any part of me want to be right at the cost of my own peace? Here are your journal prompts for this week. What do I know is true, and what do I think is true? I'm very, very grateful for your presence. Giving something 100% of your attention is becoming rarer and rarer these days, so you know, I don't take this for granted. I'm working on creating more yoga videos and breathwork content for you all, so keep an eye out. Happy Sunday. Peace.